This pregnant mum of all boys wanted a girl, and then she got a huge surprise at her checkup. The past few weeks at the San Diego hospital had all been in preparation for this moment, and when expectant mom Angie finally delivered a healthy baby girl, there were likely to have been overwhelming feelings of relief and joy in the room. But Angie didn't have time to rest and spend precious moments with her new daughter. You see, there was more in store, as the medical team attending knew all too well. Before birth, Angie and her partner Gino had been the doting parents of two little boys. Then, however, the couple discovered that their brood was about to grow once again. Yes, Angie was pregnant, but little did she and Gino know that nature had a surprise in store for them. In the first few weeks, the pregnancy progressed just as doctors might have expected, but that all changed when Angie attended a routine checkup. At that point, her doctor, Sean Danishmend, told the mum to be that she needed some specialist care. In order for her to be monitored, then, she would need to be admitted to hospital. Angie's journey was covered in a video by Sharp Healthcare that was posted to YouTube in 2012, and in the footage, Danishmend explains why the mother of two had needed further attention, saying, Unfortunately, at 26 and a half weeks into the pregnancy, all of a sudden, there was a fluid discrepancy. So that was time to say, Angie, we belong in the hospital now. Furthermore, Angie's pregnancy was considered high risk. Why? Well, she wasn't expecting just one baby, but three. Yes, she was due to give birth to triplets, and with that prospect, there were added risk factors that threatened to jeopardize the safety of her unborn infants. For instance, multiple pregnancies bring with them a greater chance of premature delivery. According to March of Dimes, a charity that advocates for the well-being of mothers and babies alike, in excess of 90% of triplets are born before 37 weeks. The average triplet pregnancy, meanwhile, lasts for just 33 weeks. And unfortunately, a baby born before term runs a higher risk of experiencing issues with their health. There's a likelihood that their vital organs may not be completely developed, for example, or that they may not have the capacity to swallow or suck. A premature child's immune system may not yet be able to sufficiently respond to infections either. But before Angie and Gino could consider the potential risks that their triplet pregnancy posed, they first had to come to terms with the fact that they were expecting three babies. In the Sharp Healthcare video, Angie admits, I would wake up in the middle of the night and just kind of shake Gino and say, Baby three. I mean, really? Three? The notion that Angie was expecting triplets was also difficult for Gino to get his head around. Trying to explain his partner's pregnancy in the video, he says, the one that's by itself is, is it Camilla or Daniela? After a tip-off from Angie, he confirms, Daniela's by herself, but I have no clue where she is. Yet Gino shows that he does have some idea where the triplets sit in Angie's womb, pointing to each one on camera. He explains, Daniela's here, Annabelle's here, and Camilla's here. Angie confirms that Gino's estimations are correct, after which he adds, I kind of guessed, but I got it. However, because two of Angie and Gino's babies were sharing a placenta, there was a chance that one of them wouldn't grow as big as the others. And when the doctors spotted a fluid discrepancy, they decided that it was therefore time to act. In Sharp Healthcare's footage, Angie explains of the findings. The medical team saw that the fluid for baby B was too low and for C was a little too high. As a result, Angie's doctor had told the expectant mum that it was time for her to be admitted to the hospital and the news seemingly came as quite a surprise. Revealing what her reaction had been at the time, Angie explains, I said, wait, right now? Right now? And Danishman said, yeah, right now. Right now. So 27 weeks into her pregnancy, Angie was admitted to the Sharp Mary Birch Hospital for women and newborns. The healthcare facility claims to deliver a greater number of children than any other in the state, at almost 8,000 infants every year. Naturally then, staff are exceptionally skilled at dealing with both pregnant women and their babies. The Sharp Mary Birch Hospital is well equipped to deal with high-risk pregnancies such as Angie's too, with its neonative intensive care unit, NICU, deemed to be a world leader. Angie herself would be taken care of by an expert team of doctors, nurses, and specialists during her stay at the facility. 
and owing to unexpected complications in her pregnancy, Angie would remain in the hospital for several weeks until the birth of her triplets. This meant, of course, that she had to be away from her beloved husband and boys, but all she could do for now was focus on her unborn babies. Anything could happen between now and my due date, she explains in the video, paying tribute to the sacrifice the mom had made. Danishman adds on camera, Angie spends weeks at the hospital. This is not easy. She's got two kids at home. She's got a husband at home. She's got a life at home. But she does everything to make sure that these three babies do well. That's powerful. But being away from home wasn't the only hardship that Angie had to contend with while she waited for her babies to arrive. During her time at the hospital, she tells Sharp Healthcare, we hear a lot of tragic stories, you know, of triplets that don't make it, especially the identical twins. The body absorbs one of them. And while giving an update in the video, Angie adds, I was admitted when I was 27 weeks pregnant, and tomorrow I'll be 30 weeks. Still, both she and Gino had seemingly gotten used to the situation. Speaking to Sharp Healthcare, the dad-to-be explains, The other day, one of the nurses called Angie, and I heard it through the speaker, and said, Are you home? It sounded funny, but it is home. Tony Hicks from the Sharp Memorial Hospital's Perinatal Special Care Unit has also revealed that empathy is the key when dealing with women such as Angie. They're taken away from everything that's normal, she explained in the YouTube clip. So by telling them, you know, I understand this is really hard for you, that's huge for our patients. And while the experience had presumably been tough at times for Angie, it seems that her time in the hospital did bring about some unexpected bonuses. In one moment from the Sharp Healthcare video, she's seen lying in bed with Gino sitting by her side. Laughing, Angie then explains, it's our date night that we never get at home. Meanwhile, to ensure that Angie was as prepared as possible for what was to come after the births, the medical team gave the mom a tour of the NICU at the hospital. In the video, social worker supervisor Karen Anderson explains to Angie, our goal is for you to see a little bit of what the NICU looks like because it's pretty likely that the triplets are going to end up here. Triplets often have to be taken to the NICU as they tend not to be carried to full term. Hicks explains further to Sharp Healthcare saying, the risk of having a premature baby is that their lungs are not completely developed and they could have brain bleeds. As a result, it was of the utmost importance that Angie and Gino's infants were looked after well. So, while seeing incubated babies at the NICU may have been an eye-opening experience for Angie and Gino, it may have also reassured them that their triplets would be in the best possible place to get whatever assistance they would need. In the footage, Angie says of the unit, I didn't see it as a sad place. I saw it as a way of empowering me. Before the time came for Angie to hand over her babies to the NICU, however, her doctors wanted her to get as far through her pregnancy as possible. That being said, they were still expecting an early birth. Danishmand reveals in the Sharp Healthcare clip, Right now our goal is, all right, 32 weeks, 34 weeks, after 34 weeks it's icing on the cake. For Angie, her time in the hospital was therefore a bit of a waiting game. Luckily though, she had people around her who understood her situation. It appeared, for instance, that the perinatal special care teams, Denise Frank, had empathy for the mum. I have four children of my own, and I try to put myself in that bed and remember, you know, what was most important to me," she says in the Sharp Healthcare video. Nonetheless, the doctors were concerned that one of Angie's babies, Baby B, would be significantly smaller than the other two. In this footage, Danishmand explains, two of the babies are sharing one placenta, so when that happens, there's a higher chance of one of the babies not growing very well. But only time would tell how Angie's triplets would fare, and until they were born, all doctors could do was take things as they came and hope for the best. And Angie was all too aware of the risks she faced. Talking on camera, she reveals, We could have contractions that we can't control. We may do an emergency C-section. For us, we don't count the weeks here, we count the days. Angie continued to rack up the days until she was just over 32 weeks into her pregnancy. Then her labor got underway. In the Sharp Healthcare video, she reveals, I'm four centimeters dilated already, so it's time. Proud dad Gino adds, three little stars will be born tonight. Then when it became clear that the triplets were soon to arrive, Angie's medical team made all the necessary arrangements to give them the best possible start. Danishman reveals, 
Angie's babies are going to be born via cesarean section because of safety concerns. That way, the doctors would be able to keep the delivery under control. Angie is understandably excited to meet her girls, saying on camera, as soon as they're born, I almost feel like it's a dream, so I just want to touch them or give them a kiss and make sure they're okay. But unfortunately, the expectant mum wouldn't get to have those first intimate moments with her new arrivals. Not right away, at least. Speaking ahead of the triplet's birth, Danishman explains, each of the babies is going to have their own advanced life support team. As soon as Angie's babies are delivered, they're passed through a window. There's a room adjacent to the operating room where the babies are assessed, helped with breathing, stabilized, and then transferred to the NICU. The birth of Angie and Gino's triplets is captured in the Sharp Healthcare's video, and in the footage, you can see the tiny babies being handed over to their specialist care teams as their mother lies helpless on the operating table. At one emotional moment, Angie also sheds a tear as she says of the infants, I didn't get to see them. Yet even despite her anguish, Angie knows that her babies are in the best possible hands. And after the triplets arrive, their doctors assess them, help with their breathing, and stabilize them. Then, after the newborns have received some assistance in opening up their lungs, they are transported to the NICU. All the while, Angie and Gino are forced to take a backseat as the team care for their three new daughters, Daniela, Annabella, and Camilla. Speaking of the parents' difficult situation, nurse Alina Harper says in the video, I really empathize with the parents that have to have their babies and be separated from them. However, that brief separation from their parents is in the triplets' best interest. Danishman explains, We still have to remember that these babies are still small, and they still are predisposed to other complications and again, long-term morbidities. But so far, we're excited that everything has turned out well. The video cameras are still rolling too, as Gino wheels Angie up to the neonatal unit. There, they can meet their babies properly for the very first time. And as she holds one tot close to her chest, the mom simply utters, It feels so right. She also wipes a tear from her cheek as she and Gino share in a special moment. Then, with one of her babies still held close to her chest, Angie explains what has been going through her mind since the birth. I had only a few hours apart from the triplets, but I really missed them, she says. So it feels good to be reunited. And as for the staff at the NICU, moments such as these make their jobs worthwhile, particularly when they too get to share in the family's joy. In the footage, Harper says, I love to see the initial contact between mummy and baby. I always look for that moment that's just theirs, that I get to be a part of. Gino, too, is happy to meet his triplets properly for the first time. And as he holds his daughter Annabella close, seeing her open her eyes appears to delight him. She looks straight up at her father, creating an instant bond, and when Gino describes his emotions at that moment, he says that it's beautiful, a beautiful feeling. So. Thanks to the team at Sharp Memorial Hospital, the triplets have had the best possible start in life. And while Angie's pregnancy may have been far from straightforward, it seems that it was worth it, as it has produced three cherished daughters. The baby's doting mother admits, it's truly a dream come true to have them come into my life. It's lucky too that Angie wasn't a pregnant woman 50 years ago. After all, both technology and attitudes toward expectant mothers have changed considerably in the last five decades. And those moms to be back in the 50s and early 60s may have been given some rather strange advice as they waited for their babies to arrive.